So I just got a new neck strap that uh, I don't use all the time, despite what some of the commenters on some of my YouTube videos have said or believe. Um, no, I use it just to support the instrument when I'm practicing like a ton. I've actually had some kind of issues with my forearms and my fingers that when I'm practicing, I don't know, um, maybe four or five hours a day, uh, it really starts to hurt and bother me. So just an extra have to take some of the weight off of my thumb and off of my hands. Uh, but this, of course, it has a hook and it comes with one of these that I'm not even sure I can figure out how to get it onto a buffet style adjustable thumb rest. Even if I could, I don't think it would stay. And it would end up with the hole kind of up and down like this, and then the hook would go through it, which would make the neck strap kind of crooked. So I don't like any of that. Um, you can get replacement thumb rests put on that have a loop connected to it, but rather than spend all the money on that, I have my own kind of method that I use. I think many problems in the world can be solved with zip ties. So we're gonna use those, um, and then just some keychain rings, kind of medium size. Now I have, I did first just put this keychain ring around this, kind of up through that hole, uh, and that worked okay, but it was rubbing against the body of my clarinet and I was worried it was gonna scratch it. So um, the other thing, if I put one zip tie in, let me see if I can kind of illustrate this. If I do one zip tie through, loop it, and then if I were to put the keychain through that, I kind of had the same problem with the, the leather thing that came with the neck strap, where you put this in and then whenever you play, there's this sort of twist in the neck strap. So it constantly sort of be twisting a quarter turn to the left or right. So what I do is I put one zip tie through. Like that, not quite all the way. I put another through there. And I put the keychain ring over that so that when all is said and done, when you tighten it, it'll be oriented correctly. Um, let me tighten those. I'm going to trim the edges and I'll show you the end result.